Well, here in Chicago, a close call for two first responders. Shots fired right outside an ambulance while the medics were driving. What started as a slow, steady September shift quickly turned into chaos for two EMTs. That pair was on the way to a non-emergency transfer. When they hear a round of pops, both medics take a moment to process the sound. You'll see it on the tape before another spray of bullets confirm their suspicions. This video speaks for itself. Here's a look. Sound like a gun to me. It is. Uh, someone on a bike just got shot. Oh, we see this person? Yeah, I'm seeing him. Call it in. Yeah. Now, after nearly getting hit by gunfire themselves, the two medics check on a nearby cyclist. It turns out that person was okay and not hit. That's the good news. Well, here to give a firsthand account of the incident, James Sutterlund, the medic seen here on the left. James, we are so grateful that you're here this morning. Just an incredible incident. I can't even imagine being in that situation. What was going through your heart and your mind? Um, you know, well, fortunately, being at work kind of cut out a lot of the processing that I might have had to do if I was just walking down the street. Um, that really kind of made a simple decision of we are here, we have all the equipment to deal with whatever this could possibly be. Um, there was really no thought to it other than to just head over there. That is incredible. Well, you checked on a cyclist. We reported on that a little earlier in this show. How were they doing? And, you know, what was their reaction when you ran up to them? Um, they were fine, which shocked me because my, my partner seemed to believe with certainty that this person had been hit. So I walked over there expecting to be putting pressure on this person. And uh, I was still probably like 10 feet away and he called out, I'm fine. What do you mean you're fine? Are you not shot? And he said, no, I just, I dove when I heard them firing. So uh, they dust themselves off and hop back on the bicycle um, before we even left. Wow, well, that's good news. And we know that this has been, you know, a while for you. You've had some time to recover, but how are you doing? How do you recover from something like this? Uh, I'm fine. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know, it's, it's less stressful than you think, I think. Um, again, when you're kind of prepared for it, uh, Again, I might feel differently if I had just been walking down the street going to the jewel or something, but given that it was at work, it's not something that happens every day, certainly. Um, but you kind of always are thinking that it might, since that's sort of the nature of the job. Well, have you ever experienced something, anything like this in your career? No, <laughs> that was the first time. And I mean, if it's the only time, that's pretty okay with me. Well, this was the middle of the day. I think that's one of the things that's most alarming about this. Do you have any idea who those people were targeting? Was it another vehicle, possibly that cyclist that you checked on? Any ideas? It was very strange. I mean, it sure seemed like just wild firing, but they're really, it, that's usually a very busy area, and there was not a whole lot of foot traffic or traffic on the road. Um, I, I couldn't tell you, but it sure seemed like that cyclist in particular was their target. And where does this investigation stand, at least to your knowledge? Um, unfortunately, my partner was the one that uh, made the call to 911 while I was speaking to our dispatch. So if there's been any follow up about the investigation, that would be with him. And I haven't heard anything back. OK, well, the men seen on that vehicle hadn't been arrested. Um, that was the latest on our end when we checked on this. Can you just walk us through what happened? I know that we kind of narrated it at the beginning, but just to hear it from your perspective, we have about 30 seconds. Sure. Well, in brief, uh, we were responding to a call. We heard shots behind us, we thought. Um, and then we confirmed that when the car drove into oncoming traffic and cut in front of us, um, we cover flip around after he believes he saw somebody. There's a quick edit in the video um, of just irrelevant information discussing uh, what had happened with our dispatch. Got out, check on this fella, he's okay. We returned to service and proceeded back to the call we were originally on. Wow, well, we're certainly happy that you're okay, your partner's okay. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, James. We appreciate your insight. Quite a story, quite a video. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.